the best local sports coverage. KJCT 8 Sports. Well, it may be too early to say that this week is do or die for the Grand Junction Rockies, but with a recent 1-4 and four road trip in Utah, the Rocks have fallen from a solid second place spot down to the bottom of the division, where coming into tonight, they were tied for last with the Orem Owls. And as luck would have it, Orem in town again tonight, and early on, Josh Mueller on the hill going to get some defensive help from Juan Sidiaco. Goblin up the chopper, tags out the runner, throw to first double play. Rocks getting out of the first unharmed. They would not get out of the second without problems, though. Anthony Bemboom, the looper to right, that'll drop in. Jared Parks coming in to score. Owls score two in the inning. They take a 2-0 lead. Rocks respond, though. Bottom two, Ben Waldrop at the dish. Big night for him. A base knock here. Jeff Popick, CMU's finest, coming in to score. Rocks cut the lead to 2-1. to one. Then bottom three, David Dahl at the dish. Rocks first round pick coming through again. Base knock to center. Another run is in as Matt Wessinger comes in to score. We are tied at Two. Dahl would score the go-ahead run later in the inning. Rocks would give the lead right back top four. But then Ben Waldrop says, don't worry, fellas, I got us tonight. The drive deep and gone. A two-run shot. Rocks back up 5-4. And then in the sixth, it's Waldrop again. Another no-doubter. Four for four on the night. Two home runs. Four RBI. And the Rocks are back in the win column. Seven to five tonight. Your final. They take on Orem again tomorrow. Game time. A special start time. 6-30 for the 4th of July from Saplesio Field. As for the big club, also trying to bounce back tonight in St. Louis against the Cardinals, and again, it's their former teammate, Matt Holliday, getting the best of them. Bang, that one's deep and gone, a two-run shot to left. Cards out to a 2-0 lead, and then on the hill, it's Joe Kelly doing some good work here, going to get the strikeout of Chris Nelson to get out of the inning, but he would run into some trouble in the top of the third. Two men on for Tyler Colvin, and the young gun going to be doing it again for the big club. This ball, bang, deep and gone. A three-run shot. Rockies taking a 3-2 to two lead, and their pitching would keep it that way, surprisingly. Rocks getting the win tonight. 3-2 to two is your final. Finally, bet you didn't know there was such thing as a national champion of marbles, right? Well, at least I didn't until today when I met 13-year-old Caleb Isaacson from Gunnison. He's an absolute phenom at what he does, and he showed it at the national championships in New Jersey over Father's Day weekend, taking home the national title against hundreds of other kids from all over the country under the age of 14. And as a result of winning, Isaacson, get this, going to be inducted into the Marbles Hall of Fame at that tournament next year. And earlier today, he talked to us about what it was like to call himself a national champion at such a young age. Just heading a marble out can cause so much happiness is sort of what I thought. It's like, this is crazy. It was lots of fun playing in the tournament. It's always fun when you win. It should be fun because we're going to be challenging him to a chump the chop later on in November. So make sure to tune in for that. All right, that is a look at sports. We're back after this.